Yes. Well, technically, we never left the West. <laughs> Fat. We're just bringing it into the game. Right? Era. <laughs> Are you keeping that name? Moj? Maj? Yeah, I, I am. I like it now. <laughs> it's really become his thing. Like, that is now my name. It was offense, Jim, but it's far more better than Jim. Wow. Well, just calling you Mo. Mo, perfect. Hey, Mo. <laughs> Hold on, I need to hear Mo Her from Western The Simpsons American really fast. tongue cannot pronounce that name. He's a crazy old dude. I mean, we're Mo. wearing pants. Probably not. You know, you guys get together. Thankfully, uh, somebody stays behind the man. Barn. We, we got to thank uh, Brian Rain for, for man in the bar. Mm. As you're uh, heading out to go see the widow, right? Yep. Widow. Uh, what was it? The widow coalition, or I don't know. Widow coalition. The, the widow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the widow's society or something. <laughs> Witter. <laughs> Okay, so you guys, uh, did you all this or are you guys walking? I figure I gotta throw that question out there. Oh, let's see how much old I have. That's, I think that's, I have. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, where did we find our starting gold? Uh, you basically you have 500. Ooh, how much does money? a horse cost? It's like this is like U.S. man, not gold. Yeah, these are these are silver certificate, you know, U.S. dollars. I was, I was under the impression that we were on, on the gold standard at this time. I mean, you could legally trade gold if you know. All of a sudden, we find out our barkeep's got a stash of gold. Obviously, he's one of those barkeeps that uh, sweeps up under the bar and gets that gold dust left behind. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. Anyone else uh, paint your wagon run red? Yeah. <laughs> Gold fever. Yeah, money. I think I don't remember. I think I spent my starting. I don't know if I had any left or not. You, you spent it all on so? lots of uh, train rides. <laughs> I don't remember. Or I think I just bought stuff and didn't really. Because it wasn't that expensive for everything. I think I wrote it down on my on the piece Ew, of paper. No, I did because I think my because I have like silver that was like two fifty right for. So yeah, I think I probably spent all mine. Um. So if you want, yeah, a horse, mine just says money five hundred. If you want a horse, it's a hundred and fifty. If you want a mule, it's fifty. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna buy a horse. If you want a buckboard, it's only five dollars. Yeah, why What's, don't we have just how how far are these guys from where we? Uh, the the widow that you guys were gonna go see, she's about a good uh, about a good half an hour ride out of town, depending on how how you push the, your uh, mount. All right. Two hour stretch of the legs if you want to walk walk out there. You have enough for a horse. That leaves me with five gold left. Hi, and, brother. If, and if you need I mean, ideas, handout section, some Western gear ideas and costs and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah. You, 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 you're sure you don't have like a little buckboard uh, rolling or something? So under the Western gear ideas, uh -huh. uh, I'm getting an error from Roll20 saying that we don't have permissions or to check permissions. Let's try three. Something went wrong. Oh no, that's. I mean, sorry. 
<laughs> Miss the R. And while y'all spending your cash, I'm gonna go grab some food real quick. My I Just sage fruit right. arrived. And uh, you can uh, do your long ride and talk about what your plan is when you go to the will of Landry. Does, does that, they have the cost of some uh, of some. Uh, Oh, let me look see if files are downloaded quick. Let's see if I can figure out where I put them. And if they're not there. No! That's my flash drive. Right. Uh, ideas. There it is. Yes, didn't carry it off. Uh. Ooh. If somebody has enough strength, they could pull us. <laughs> so trying to find which document here shows general equipment. Here we go. Um. There's equipment. Alright, setting gear system. Alright, so cross voting rifles. Jug of blessed water. Weapon, sword cane. Da, da, da. Somebody needs a death ray, I'm just saying. Eventually. <laughs> That's all weapons about armor, picturing your best. No, picturing. Yeah, see, I think I spent mine on my cane and stuff because I have s the the hidden blade is got silver. How how uh, much does how much does it cost for a carriage? Who? For a carriage, like if, so I. I he said a buckboard was seventy five. So. Yeah, and that's I picture I posted a picture of a buckboard in the, uh, um, chat. Because I I don't think my guy is gonna do too much, uh, act for a bit yet. So maybe buying a thing of armor, a horse, and a buckboard might uh, it, right. like it might save everyone some money. Right. Well, and it would make sense have that for the uh, picking up kegs and supply. Yeah. So if I, I spend $225 of my 500 then that means that everyone can, everyone can ride, right? And I bought a yeah. horse. Yeah. So if, if, so if you don't want to buy a horse, at the very least, uh, it, it, you know, thing to carry our uh, hopeful loot in. Right. Yeah, so leather armor, though, this is me a price. Uh... <laughs> but 
But yeah, buckboard would probably be, I mean, I don't care if I sit in the back. I mean, it's like I said, it's not comfort, but, you know, people, but that's okay. I'm, I'm easy. I'm you know, the lady, young lady can have a seat up on the, the other bench seat there. <laughs> oh. Thank you kindly, but I'll ride my horse. <laughs> Oh, You're you a already have one. And a mm-hmm. Right? I'm, I'm gonna push her. I'm gonna just walk up on uh, where you guys talking about it. Sit down, and I'm gonna tell him. Thank She's you. a black mare. Her name <laughs> is Dahlia. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, let's see. So your stats need a cowboy hat. Or oh, they're calling it a Setson. Wait, what's a Setson? Oh, that's a Maddox. That's no, that's winter coat. That must be a typo. Yep. A fancy suit's only or dress is only eight bucks. And if you can get hell in a fancy dress, more power to you. Right? It's leather. I didn't see a price for leather. I just said talked about leather and it didn't really give what it soak was. Other than low soak. For that you got to get from the uh, base book. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, the book. Hey, sweetie, did you order the exam? I did. You got what you got. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like it or yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the unspoken part. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go. Let's see. When you're running a half hour late and you're ordering from DoorDash, you just hit what you ordered from last time. <laughs> armor descriptions, armor, heavy jacket. Yeah, but see, I don't think price to that like a heavy jacket's 50 bucks here where it's much cheaper Aaron. well then make me a big, deal and i'll see if a coat would have run you for yeah well, so a heavy, ja heavy jacket here on the armor list is like oak so if you wanted that for uh base armor but i'm sure it's not finished <laughs> it, it would be for good heavy jacket I will. One of my that. favorite things to do when I was uh, engineer was on recess, I would go to the library and of, of some of the old Sears Roebuck catalogs and I'd sit there for and peruse those because I'm like, and the medicine section was arsenic pills. It, it has uh, one soak, you said? It cures what ails you, don't it? Yeah, so what they're listing for a heavy jacket. That sounds good. Something. How much? How much does a full-on carriage cost? Out of curiosity. Like a, you know, heavy loaded carriage, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like carriage. You're talking about like carriage? a stagecoach. Like a stagecoach. That's what I mean to say. A stagecoach would set you back. Oh, they don't fringe on top. <laughs> but if you want a buggy with a cab, it's two hundred. If you want a Constoga wagon, that's two hundred dollars as well. That's good to know. For the time being, I... yeah, you really need more. Like I said, the, the supply carrier for yeah. for your it, it, it's it's going to be useful for us regardless. Oh no, yeah, just yeah. not necessary comfortable for a long trip we'll work on that i'm ready unless i'm talking but probably not the best thing <laughs> the uh, investment things go crazy so driving considered that considered something else um, that should, but we'll just go with you have driving your character sheet. Well, that okay, drive or green, so that's I mean, that's hey. not 
That's not bad. One of them. Yeah, for a ride. You got time enough to strategize what your plan is? Sure. You were shopping for, like, <laughs> a meal. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and on top of that, you can make any fans up beforehand. I take his silence as no. I'm gonna make some concoctions. <laughs> Already. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna make some uh, get some uh, smoke powder ready from every anything. Yep. First nickel salesman live by the Anywhere and everywhere. Back at the, the bar, huh? He's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you cable. Exactly. And that's how I get my money in. I somehow got my thing stuck. My character sheet. Uh, refresh on your... Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. Did I done the same? Hell yeah, we did it. We're moseying. Thank you very much. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you, Sam. Just actually, I did. I actually have hair. I'm not lonely. Fine. I, am. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you a stranger in a strange land? So you're... I am bald, but I'm bald by choice. Not, not. Uh... You choose to pick that shit every day. See, your stuff grows back as fast as. It... Let me tell you. What's it? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. If you ever fuck for courage. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Shall we get that? Oh, fancy. <laughs> but... it's slightly less. You... Hey, at least we'll, let's get away. All right. Wild, weird west. Weird wild west. Thing you're discussing. I mean, I don't know. Does I'm actually doing anything wrong? Uh, we're coming to investigate. Sure. I don't know. You're like not funny in that. Day. Preacher, we're not gonna play against the ladies. No, I'm just making chit chat. Preacher on principle. Okay. Yeah, no, he he was a little weird. I finally head out her little home. We. I remember that we had a conversation that said. Yeah, probably midday, mid late. Or mid probably safe. Maybe-ish. It is, you guys get about two. The uh, sun tells you. On up ahead, she got a nice little, little sister-y thing. I mean, she has had three husbands. And yeah. For something that uh, seems to have been over for some reason. Huh. Well, it is open away. Stock and like, unsaddle horse just move. Do you guys do anything as you're coming up? I mean, like, off him and I'm out, and then I'm gonna go examine that scarecrow. I'm, like, both out, grab the walk, and like. <laughs> I think, you know, I, I don't think it is that that's a boss, somebody waiting to attack us, you know, but yeah. uh, otherwise, like, if it's just a knocked over scarecrow that we need to. You save this crop, or, like you say, it might be a dead body. Of the that. Got the scarecrow because, you know, mighty scary. You got you. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, okay. uh, go ahead. A perception. I'll give you, I think we'll find out. Doc mode. Oh, I did not go perception this round. This you game. have one rank in it. No, I guess. He goes and pokes at the scarecrow, and you can clearly see its pole, its bung, you know, is broken. 
You wanna, you wanna try to like prop it back. Yeah, I wanna try to fix it and prop it back up. Okay, give me a coordination. The, the scarecrow pats it and tries to shove what's left of the stick back into the earth. Oh, and oh, it falls at that. right over the first afternoon. I'm gonna give my stuff and try again. I often give you, you know, so you give yourself a blue. I take it. Uh, blue so dice in there yourself. for you. <laughs> Round two. Huff, it gives you, got you a this. boost. <laughs> Why are you patient for watching? I have. Why coercion when trying yeah. to do something physical? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, coordination. Uh, yeah, you're using the wrong. I am what? dyslexic yeah. today. He's trying to. <laughs> After a few talking with the scarecrow, you kind of slam down, and the, the dry earth that stick just <laughs> tilted, but standing up and doing his job. Um, he, he was talking to it, trying to convince it. He was, really, that was not responding. <laughs> I suspect he's a touched. Kid. Here, let, let, let me help you get up there. <laughs> Station with some passed out people at the bar. Right. Oh, man. Uh, gold. <laughs> 10 out of 10, guys. <laughs> so, uh, just really well. Right? <laughs> he gets that sack on its post, and, uh, you, you see, like, two crows in the field, kind of, ah, ah, and go, and your eyes follow him, you look in the distance, and you realize there's a puff of dust, you know, very functional western garb, you know, nice camo, button-up shirt that could be for men or women, like, sensible. And uh, uh, you, she's got her, hand, but she's got cash over the hood is in your hand, Bo. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to scare all the crap. That's probably for the best. <laughs> and and want... she, she, she stuck up her uh, scarecrow, and she she gives a wave. For she's she's a bit away. But uh, she definitely gives you a friendly wave. I'm going to wave back friendly. To... <laughs> yeah, I, I guess just, uh, I'm not holding any weapons. I tip my hat at her. And in a few moments, if you guys aren't moving forward, she comes, you know, comes in that little half run kind of move, you know, because she just want to biff it on a gopher hole. Okay. And she, uh, she kind of gets, of course, waves yeah. over at the house over here. Yeah, that sounds Big like house. <clears throat> There conveniently is a barrel for water for the horses. I mean, it's in there. See, so it's at the back. Uh. It's even in the shape. Wonderful. <laughs> How pleasant. For so, uh, you guys, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. As uh, she comes, comes up, she kind of takes off a little sh shoulder in it, and she kind of plops him down. Puts a shotgun down at y'all, and she says, "But what's bringing y'all out around here? You're uh, strained, by the way. You're all full and rest. Even hey. though one of you rest." She just, she just gives the squint from the bright afternoon. Uh, what, what's the name? Her name is Sue. One more time. Who? Like Tara is. Tara Sue. Her right. last name again. Sue. No, her last name. Sue. Talandry. She's the widow Talandry. Talandry. Oh, Talandry. That's what. Yeah, Tara Sue. Yeah, I'm like, oh, this name is not familiar. Woof. <laughs> I don't know. Well, so the so it's two names, right? Two together. Well, yeah, no, I know a, I know a Michael John. This name it was Michael John one word. I'm like, ah, that's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> it's like Michael, right? Like that's your middle name? No, it's Michael. Like, <laughs> well, they couldn't decide. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's just fucking weird. That <laughs> <laughs> they had to honor both granddads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and compromise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you guys. Yeah, I'm I just gonna say. Uh, well, my name is Doc Potts, and I am the head of the uh, chamber, of, and we have been approached by a, uh, a certain preacher that has expressed some, and we're just making sure that. 
Uh, everything's going on for everyone. And not trying to start trouble and not trying to point fingers. Uh, <laughs> just wanted to touch base and find out if there's any, if there's any truth uh, to what the guy was saying. And she just looks at you and squints and, uh, the, you know, the, the little ladle in her bucket for some water. And she says, shut up, Mr. Pot. Voting time that you're coming around to make sure we all remember who you are. <laughs> And while they're talking, jump down and start take care of them, getting them getting them over by the water and stuff like that. Oh, fantastic! And I, I'm also. And, well, and Mr. You... Potts does his talky thing. Yeah, we'll do we'll do some talking. And, 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 <laughs> and... smiles at you, and so and she kind of says, uh, Mr. Potts, did uh, Mr. Potts not come out with you? Remember, he no, didn't know her. someone <laughs> had to, uh, to to man the bar, you know. I mean, you are a prosperous business owner, and you're the best businesses in town. Trust me, my husband and both said the same thing. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in the end, she kind of, you know, goes over and slaps the hat that was left behind and blocks the sun, so she stops squinting at you. At least I didn't make. <laughs> Compliment. <laughs> My establishment is not exactly uh, a pillar <laughs> I, I understand where I am. <laughs> no, but that was very well eloquent, backhanded compliment. You did quite well. <laughs> As you know, she, she's talking to this beautiful orange comes crawling out of the grass you know, that must have been following behind her. Gives a little meow. She just looks back and just, you know, she gives a little hiss at the cat, and the cat goes trotting off towards the house. Really? That's not. Bizarre. Just a, just a playful. Yeah. Okay. And she's like, "Ooh, cat was scaring away the game." So, uh, Mr. Potts, yeah. what, what can I help you out with? Unless you're here to help me pluck some feathers. Nudging one of the pheasants your direction. Mm, uh, I, I, I pull her out wherever I can, and. Uh... Be honest with her, you know. I'll be like, you know, I'll just give it to you straight. Like, I don't remember specific, but I'll try to relate that to her and be like, these are these are some of the concerns that that preacher uh, has brought up. And if I'm going to be completely honest, when with you, you said you, preacher, I kind of like did that. <coughs> kind of <laughs> like I was chewing tobacco, but like, and I'll be completely honest, I. I, I was trying to start something for whatever reason, but as the as the head of the chamber of commerce, I did consider it my duty to investigate these things and make sure that nothing catches us off guard. Smiles at you, and you see, you see, she's kind of not getting the gist of what you mean by that. But she's just like, oh, that preacher man is harmless. At least somebody becomes a red little tomato. I'm like, is that the pre? Are we talking about the same preacher? I totally did not get those vibes from him. the preacher's a tomato. He's a t- <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Other than the fact that he wants to be, one of the things that that he brought up was that you guys have a. Uh, of get together. Uh, the, 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 uh, is that correct? Oh, well, Mr. Potts, you know, these are the Widows Society. Uh, I get together at least once every month. I mean, we, we try to get together to look out for each other. And she kind of like looks around her little homestead here, has a nice house. She's got a business. And she's like, you know, not every widow out here. I mean, I was three times blessed. And then three times blessed again, and of course there's a like, cringe there when you realize she, she married three good guys and three three. Yeah. Uh, no, the, that's completely under no. Uh, stick together as a community. The easy out here. Uh, uh, speaking of which, what uh, anything special happened with that talk coming on in? 
Oh, oh, old George just, you know, got caught in the little wind out here and fell over. I ain't got time to dig a hole and put him back up there, but but your friends. Yeah, I did. I, I like a, a one to put another in his place, if you know what I mean. It's <laughs> thanks in the general direction of Moj. <laughs> and I'm thinking, yeah, puts a, a pole in <laughs> He did a good job. He did a good job with that post. He was and trying he, to be polite and cordial at first. And she kind of winks and says, <laughs> he's single? <clears throat> and is he as wrong in the head as he plays on? I think both of those things are accurate. Just kind of smiles at you. Uh, however, I, I will warn her since since she did her previous her first two husbands having a thing for for the the tavern. Uh, uh, he he does put things in them that put my drinks to shame. So, <laughs> and she's just like, no, no, I, I don't drink any of the the alcohol stuff. My my first husband was a preacher, and uh, she kind of smiles at that and says that he, he made sure I didn't follow my daddy's wicked ways. Uh, do, uh, am I familiar to her? You're not. Uh, she she originally came to town with with her priest who died shortly after getting here. So, I'm, I'm, I'm just, yeah, uh, I'll just ask her uh, well, I don't think you're with your pa. Um, what what was uh, what are we? And, and she uh, she kind of looks shy at you for a second, really giving in some uh, conversation. Uh, do me a favor, go ahead and give me a coercion in case she wants to give extra dump. Hopefully, better than mine with that scarecrow. Both the same, but. Could I approach this more from a Definitely. Yes. Heck yeah, we're good. <laughs> Heck yeah, and she kind of blushes that you're asking about her daddy. You're the well business man in town from everybody's point of view. That is, uh, that's also on my business cards. <laughs> your money or booze in the building. As she just kind of, you know, she kind of blushes and looks up at you all cute in the afternoon sunlight as your colleagues are watching awkwardly from behind her. And she says, "Oh, Mr. Potts, are you uh, are you uh, asking about me for political reasons?" And she she takes one step towards you, Lily. Or are you interested in something else? <laughs> me, uh, while, while my reasons for uh, uh, okay. I I'm married married to the you know the. That's your mistress. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I don't know a great deal about running a tavern in the wild, but I do imagine that it was uh, it was a easy job. Yeah. Wait, so wait a minute. Did we have a name for your uh, fish yet? Uh, yeah. The uh, the Artemis. Artemis. Uh, okay. Ah, you named it for Artemis. I for for my kid, but also. That it's the uh, scientific name for wormwood. Oh, okay. So Artemis, really? Yes. You have your kids named Artemis? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. That's so sweet. And smiles at you and and, and just plays off your uh, deflection, and she says, <laughs> "Well." If you must know, and she kind of looks over at your friend's water horse tone, that uh, was Blackjack Bartholomew. She likes me like the, the bad in her mouth there, like the, the plains dust. Sounds like an outlaw name to me. Yeah, Black <laughs> Bart is definitely a name. Are we familiar with it? Uh, do me a favor. He he's he's been done past for quite a while. But yes, uh, but is he infamous around these here parts still? Give me a. Uh, he's, he's basically like one generation ago. Give me a check or something in regards to history. And I got you a blue dice because you know you may have heard something in the bar. Oh. 
I don't know if I see a lore skill. Uh, a knowledge? Just a blank knowledge? Yep. Ah. <laughs> wow. Well, she made it really quiet, so, uh... Oh, okay. Sorry. Are okay. you actively... Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would expect nothing less. That's what we came here for information gathering. So I will let uh, Katie give us a... Uh, you got that. Can okay. I give her... Uh, I, I would like to give her some kind of advantage by repeating politely... Uh, Black Jack Bartholomew and like Black say. <laughs> so for three of your advantages, I will totally give her a free upgrade. All right. So perception? Uh, perception or vigilance? Perception. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to do a story point. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh. Just to make okay. it. Get... Okay. You ready? Two to square. Yep. Oh. Are you. Kidding me? <laughs> Seriously? Ah, I don't know. Your word like, days. Like I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, at the, uh, shoot, what's it called? The roll window. And one of the things you can spend your advantage recalling additional information a subject noticed. But, but you didn't. Oh, yeah. He was yeah. trying to notice here yeah, yeah, what yeah. you were saying. So. Yeah. So, but she might have noticed notice. something else. I mean, but, I've got something for your two advantage if you'd like. If yeah, to go ahead, like offer. Trying to eavesdrop. Uh, you're hearing them talk. Something kind of catches your attention. And over at the well where you guys are getting the water at, uh, there's, there's a nice little well set up over there, a pump over on this side. And uh, you can within the, the there's something that's on a teeny tiny necklace type that dangles down and is submerged just under the water. Like it could be a, a necklace, something like that. And that totally catches your eyes. Mr. Potts from there's words and you don't notice it. Mm, yeah. You get yeah, she's going. all like looking at I'm distracted by <laughs> So while he's taking care of the horses, I would like to kind of uh, reach out. I don't know if it'd fall under divine, uh, kind of feel and vibes, kind of a maybe detect evil or something like yes. that. Alliance De detect vibes spell. Yes. Yes. <laughs> detect vibes. <laughs> mode. I'm detecting bad mode. <laughs> okay. Just, so yeah, kind of feeling for anything. So that's odd one purple or off. for within, you know, clothes. I mean, are you, what do you what do you look at like, to do here? I'd like to do a couple bands, maybe. How far out of the range for? Like two bands. Okay, you know. so, so medium distance. Sure. Okay, so we're talking two purple. Yeah. Okay, so you, you're getting ready to do a utility spell there, huh? See anything specific for it, but. Yeah, that would be just a utility. Okay. Like what, uh, with his seeing the spirits. Yeah. Utility yep, spell. yep. Figure we're out investigating. Uh, so skate all elements. Okay, so you got out to medium yes. range, which kind of covers the house. Yeah. Anything Looking further? No, uh, no, that'll be fine for for the moment. Yeah, we're we're like this is the cat investigation side of things. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. now that you got your story point flipped. I mean, you were nice enough to to give me one, so I figured I had to spend it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm. Okay, so that's an additional point of strange. You're trying to be casual about it. Buddha's with. And uh, what is it like <laughs> to use your divine mm -hmm. way? I just, you know, like I'm standing there by the horse, just kind of in a looking away in kind of a meditative state, I would think. Kind of a concentrated meditation state. Okay, that one strain being the, you're trying to pay attention so the horse doesn't stomp you while you're using it. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> 
Most you know, maybe definitely. Maybe some minor can. motions, but, you know, in front of me, but I'm facing away from her. Okay, so uh, you open yourself up and you some some vibe. Definitely some uh, yin and yang energy going here that uh, the okay. water is practically glowing with, with life energy. It's, okay. It's, you know, you haven't really drank it yet. Totally through the... No. Use the ladle and drink some water, Chloe, but nobody No, I've been taking... And uh, the horses like the water. They're slopping it down. I yeah. mean, water, your strong, good life force energy. Like more <laughs> than... More than you would find at a beautiful, natural falls where the, the yeah. strong energy is effervescent and flowing with life. It's, it's more... Okay. What's a well here? It should not be this potent with goodness. Right. It's not flowing or nothing. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, for mostly okay. stagnant water, it's amazing and vibrant. Okay. I mean, sorry, I have to go now. Sorry. Okay, sorry, dude. Bye. 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 Moj goes and starts talking to the scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And um, you, you kind of. Look at her and Mr. Potts talking, and you see that the house has has definite dark chi going on in it. The, the but the house seems, seems to have a light chi. Is it? Yeah. Yep. And the, the house, you definitely see some bad in the house. Okay. About and, her. And when you look at her, her, you see this beautiful balance in the floor the force you know her okay. yin yang energy <laughs> earns you know not everybody's one or the other they're constantly psyched, but she's only speaking with her chi okay you, you would say okay. she's at least a third year student at the monastery <laughs> okay so she she's a practitioner or something okay uh the thing that i saw in the water the glinting like it's, re I mean, that you can uh, reach it, um, okay, you or can does it look just reach really down, far down? Less than a palm's depth of water and, and pull it up so you can look at it if you want. Yes, I'd like to do that. In the water, it's super crisp and cold. It's got that beautiful, like, 60 degree water. It's like Joel. And uh, you, you pick up this beautiful silver amulet of. As you pick it up, you see the chain that's holding in there is like, you know, it's a very thin necklace of silver. And it's mm -hmm. super, super fine looking. It looks like you could you could destroy it without even trying. But uh, you kind of... So it's a fancy bit of filigree. Mm -hmm. um, anything, any distinct markings or... And you ask that. Do me a favor. Uh, first, give me an arcana check. Arcana or Arcana? Mm -hmm. Wow! Nice. So uh, immediately you realize this is a a magic talisman. You know, you sense that the tingle in in the water when you touched it was the tingle of some kind of magic enchantment. And mm -hmm. uh, the point of strain is you kind of like put you know. Arcanely speaking, when you realize that you just kind of like bumbled into some magic that could have bad effects, but then you realize, uh, like a half breath later, that you were getting nervous for nothing. That uh, mm -hmm. this is this is definitely a talisman of good juju. You know, it, it's got some uh, it's got some juice into it. So a definite practitioner created it, and it was placed with definite intent. I mean, well, sure you considering could... you probably just I'm not getting any well. negative vibes off of it, though. <laughs> so obviously it's there to keep the well clean and, you know, so I'm going to put it back. Okay, as you gently put your hand down below the water and it sinks right back to where it was against the wall there. I see that this water mm. is insanely clear. And, and you kind of realize that uh, with all the barrels of stink water in town that you're used to, this water that's gone sour, mm -hmm. 
you can totally just smell the Christmas. Like, this smells like a fresh lake. That smell kind of... Ladle. Okay. You take the little tin ladle and you drink it, and it's <laughs> some of the best water you've actually ever tasted. And uh, if you had any strain, you totally would have recovered one strain. Yeah, I did lose a strain, remember? <laughs> so you get that strain back. All of a sudden, super, you have that Pepsi commercial moment where you're just like... <laughs> Effervescent. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing Moj isn't here. He tried to bottle this shit and sell it. Right. <laughs> So uh, she she kind of you know goes back to uh, Mr. Potts and she finishes you know t telling this this vague story about her her pa who was a notorious killer of men and women and uh, if it wasn't for her first husband she totally would have carried on the family if you know what, you know what she means but uh, he he thankfully found her one day when her pa killed the coachman that was driving them into town and. They struck up a romance that resulted in to uh, find another preacher to marry. <laughs> and then he held on the good path. Interesting. All right. As she totally, you know, finishes, you know, plucking feathers with you and give me a uh, coordination check to see how good of a feather plucker you are. I'm going to be so bad at this. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Well, it's not as I thought. It's no failure. So, I mean, I mean, you, you <laughs> did succeed, but it's not like, you know, it fail failed. So, it, yeah. so you left a bunch of pin feathers. You I didn't mean, ruin you know. the meat. You just did a shitty job out of it. And she looks at you yeah. and she's like, didn't you just do a plum mess of this poor bird? Here. <laughs> well, the only delivers his already plucked. <laughs> right. Let, let me get some uh, biscuits and cookies for y'all since he came all the way out here. And again, you, you should have some of that well water because it is some of the sweetest water in this whole valley. And I say, yep, mighty tasty, <laughs> mighty <laughs> clean, I'll almost, almost incandescent and magical. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you your compatriots here. Yes. Because she's totally doing the whole happy housemaker thing where she's running inside to get some fresh biscuits and cookies. Uh, the pheasant with her or no? Uh, no, it's still sitting at the on the table. Okay. I'll move over to clean up the boss's job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get all the pin feathers, little pin feathers and stuff that he left. <laughs> Our recovering I... Buddhist fucks a bird. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. Wow! Uh... Hey, it's already dead. So. Like if if I was left to continue cleaning this thing, I would probably destroy it. They they are probably <laughs> making sure it's put away. Yes. I, totally I show them how about to it. properly clean it, but. As I'm kind of instructing, I explain to him that, hey, I kind of feel survives. There's definitely some some good chi over on the well there, but the house is kind of dark. Well, and she went inside, balance. so I'm going right. to say, yeah, that, that charmed, uh, the charm, it, it, it's safe. It's it's actually quite refreshing. And as long yeah, as I'm, you guys don't yell or anything, she's totally out of earshot. Yeah, that's why we're talking quietly as I am in the guise of showing up really to pluck the, you know, and up her, so it's all ready for her when she comes back. He makes and, a killer I, stew, he just doesn't kill the chicken himself. I, I relate the learn about her dad, uh, and but also just that she, like, aside from being aggressively, that's something that I've really experienced from her. She seems... Yeah. Yeah, no, um, she seems in balance, but the house is dark. And yeah. Katie would like to use that role she had earlier once you mentioned the name. The uh, Katie might circle in the What was that circle. name? Is uh, Black, Black Jack, Jack Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Black. You don't well, call I'll him be Bart because you end up dead. 
So immediately when you tell Katie's name, she kind of blanches for a second. As uh, she knew that he was a notorious hustler, killer of men, and rumored to be necro. Lots of he's. (laughs) (laughs) Folks around these parts can't, you know, have stories about that there blackjack. Bartholomew, Black Bart. Ooh, you call him Bart, you and that. Ah. So your assumption, Jim, is wrong. About, you were alluding that I wouldn't eat meat, but Google really, because I started to search and it immediately prompted for, because I was like, do Shaolin monks, and it prompted, like, suggested to eat meat. Like, Okay, you're listening, aren't you? You're listening, yes. Aren't you? yes, it's listening. Yes, not all so, monks practice the, the... Some actually do eat meat, so... So another class of Shaolin monks are allowed to consume meat. These are known as Shaolin warrior monks, which is basically what I am, mm-hmm. is a warrior mm-hmm. monk. So, got to have that extra protein. That was, extra you need the muscle. I took the words right out of my mouth. So I would, I would eat meat. I'm all. That's why I got to do this. Okay. Uh, uh, well, while we're discussing all the stuff that's going on, I'm gonna ask the other two people here, because, because uh, the other one seemed to have fallen asleep on the buckboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? You mean passed uh, out? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the, the, Mo is just having a conversation with the, talked about. with the um, scarecrow is exhausted. I, I do want to tell him, like, I think here is going to be to uh, ask if we can go to their monthly gathering. Uh, and not just to observe what they're doing, but I'm kind of concerned. Like, I, I don't know if this is has any basis in fact, but it kind of sounded like other people might try to interrupt. Did yeah, they, see, this, I'm this getting a total... Uh, no, that's the preacher. Is he's? I'm getting that total vibe from him. Are you saying he's an instigator? I'm saying he's a burn them at the stake instigator yeah. from Salem. You know, from the witch truck. <laughs> he's probably got a copy of the Malifa Malifa uh, uh, Malarum, uh the witch <laughs> book in his, uh, you know, pocket there. Doesn't everyone? Pocket sure. edition, yes. <laughs> you had something. So, so I, I think that's the next step. I think the next step is asking him to go. I would much rather be invited to go there than uh, than show up unannounced. Uh, but uh, any other ideas? I'm good with that. I mean, it just. See, have to see whether they're going to be amenable to that. I mean, yeah. none of us are widders, orphan, but I'm not a widow. <laughs> I mean, and there's options if they tell us not to. Like, we can there, you know. Which, <laughs> True. Which isn't ideal, but I think it's better than uh, a group of people, a group of armed people going over there and shedding blood, one way or another. Uh, but. Okay, and just as you guys finish your hushed talks, she comes out with a tray with a teapot, and, you know, you see a bunch of biscuits styled up in a beautiful little pyramid shape and some cookies, some some looks like shortbread cookies. And she puts the tray down. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. There ain't been no hordes of locusts or, you know, raining you know, other types of, you know, the milk hasn't been curdling, all not like plagues week, of witches no. type of thing. No, but not in unusual. general. Yeah, not unusually so. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's all, not all okay. appropriate to the season. Yeah. So nothing like is really out. City of Wormwood, everything is out of whack, but nothing unusually so, you know. He's coming yeah. in saying that locusts are talking to him. Oh, yes, these locusts had human heads and we're talking to him. It's true. <laughs> yeah, if, if, you, 
if you scroll up for uh, three pictures, that's almost the exact same dress, <laughs> but just much creepy. Yeah. <laughs> like Pilgrim Witch Hunter. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's the picture Kelly wanted me to use for the priest. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm just saying that that preacher picture I sent you is pretty. So how much I saw him. <laughs> okay, just you know, checking. Well, and, and let's put it this way: I'm getting the distinct vibe from the preacher that I would be next on his hit list. <laughs> <laughs> and no, and, and this is something that Enoch is absolutely keeping an eye on too, because one of the things you don't want uh, stable community is a uh, fervor wave. You know, mm-hmm. want things to get out of hand and build and build. Fanaticism is dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, you know. But we're, we're seeing the information gathering, and it is also super important that we keep in mind that as much as we might have impressions of this uh, of this widow, that she might be pulling the wool over our eyes. Right, there I mean, is something even, wrong with even, the house. Even terrible people like their sparkly water, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Every Bond like villain it. ever did. Yeah. <laughs> they guard that secret well. But <laughs> So, you know, she yeah, comes on it. out and she has, you know, so, some small talk with you guys as how everyone's doing, you know. How's the, you know, how's Katie's, you know, firearm store going? Yeah, she's not big on the firearms, so she she doesn't call it a gun a gun shop or a Smith gunsmithy. She calls it the firearm store. It's like, I make do. I make do. <laughs> so, uh... And I just, as she comes up, I step back from the properly cleaned bird and just kind of <clears throat> go back to attending the horses, politely listening. And, and as soon as you, you go back to the horses, she, she looks over at you and says, Sir, you you are welcome at my table. You, you don't need to go over there with the animals. They're fine. They're not going to wander off. Come, come, Thank come you, have ma'am. some some tea and biscuits. Thank it you, ma'am. It may not be I... as good a tea as you're used to, but it's it's the best we can do out here. You Thank totally you, and I kind of give a bow as I move over. As you realize from the smell alone, it's got just a hint of actual tea leaves in it. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's the good tea. It Crazy. has one single tea leaf in it. It's not just sweepings. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just yeah, uh, uh, shrubs in the <laughs> and stuff in the garden or weeds that have been. The tea stretch out. <laughs> or actually, do you know what sheep tea is? <laughs> it's used uh, as a remedy, and yeah. you can guess what it's made from. <laughs> oh, nice! It's originally hey, well. herbal. Until it's been processed. <laughs> yes. Processed well, herbs. No, yeah, it's, yeah, and then dried and then <laughs> sanitized. Yeah. Yeah, it adds <laughs> extra elements to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or was it goat tea? Was it goat tea or sheep tea? I, think, you know, I can't remember. But yeah, that well, was a thing. Who's going to try to apply the information out of her in this little montage? tea party. I will. Okay, and I'm and giving you a blue dice because she's receptive to your attentions and the fact that y'all are coming out and being social and checking in on her. Yeah, she's receptive to you, Enoch. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> There's an upgrade and a blue dice. I, she, she was receptive to me, but she was also receptive to Maj, and that's kind of a flag. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. It gets lonely out there on the prairies. You know what they say when you you're three times cold the winner. <laughs> you can get mighty cold at night. <laughs> uh, what would you like? Uh, are you going to do charm or coercion? Uh, charm. Okay. I mean, yeah, one way is no you coerce her to sing it. Charm is you just smile and give her silence till she fills in the gap. Yeah. Oh. Wow. What would you like for yeah. those three advantage? 
I mean, you could totally make it that she's now best buddies with all of you guys for those three fans. Yeah, no, that that's absolutely in keeping with with e, what what Enoch would want. You know, trying to build a community together, and I just think making her uh, uh, making this like the beginning of a good functional friendship is is, is useful. So so pretty much yeah, all yeah. of you guys can put down that she is your friend. I mean, this is a she. Unless you, she is an actual friend who can, you can expect to come to your aid if need be. Here, I thought he was uh. a politician. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he also the mayor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that was, uh, that's, uh, it's a lady. Um, yes. Bailey. Bailey, right? She's the cop, though. <laughs> <laughs> the widow to land. The widow to Landra is your friend. An open and honest way. Yeah, you know, she kind of, you know, tells you guys, you know, next week on Thursday, the uh, the Widow's Society is going to be over at the tea house. And she seemed to have been, like, very, very shady about anything else other than when you guys all know they all walk through town in their black outfits of mourning and they go to the tea house and they have a great tea time. You you kind of, you know, you know, let her continue talking and then you're like, what else are you meeting? And then she kind of blushes when she goes to get some more tea for you guys because you're having a good time. And then she kind of lets lets it slip that uh, the the widows will be having a uh, mourner's circle out at the graveyard at the next full moon. Do we have an idea of what the next full moon is? Uh, I'll give you because, you know, you're used to it. Uh, it's going to be had a week and a half. Okay. I was going to say the farmer's almanac will tell us. <laughs> <laughs> As Sam Nine carries one three. of them in his back pocket, he's like, ah, Confucius <laughs> says, bring your farmer's almanac. <laughs> A fool would turn down knowledge written on paper. Right? Books of script or of knowledge are amazing. I mean, the print <laughs> have to have a bunch of bureaucrats writing things down in duplicate. Bureaucrat? What's a bureaucrat? <laughs> you're, you're from China, the origin of the bureaucrat. <laughs> wow. I don't know if there's that really happening at the temple, though. Okay, so she basically, you know, you know, has a nice time with you guys, and totally gives you that they're meeting at the tea house in like three days, and in a week and a half they'll be uh, going up to the boot hill in privacy. She kind of, she kind of hammers home the it's a private event for widows only, just to make sure you don't hopefully crash. <clears throat> and uh, she kind of gestures that uh, if. if if you want to really talk with some of my uh, my sisters in the society, you you should come to tea. That 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 would be the best best way of introducing you. Well, I think I think that's a fantastic idea. And, yeah. Uh, I I also particularly think that uh, uh, that Sam here would appreciate. Us. Sure. Well, it's mighty fun. I could bring some real tea. Yeah. <laughs> well, the fact that the tea house also has real tea. Yeah. But I can make sure they get the real tea out of the real tea there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she basically... Oh, you know, tea. She totally asks if any of you guys want to take some, uh, some biscuits or some cookies to go with you guys because I, I think Moj out there fell asleep on the wagon, it might be. <laughs> Such a mo thing to do. It really <laughs> is. Like it's almost. It's it's very in character. <laughs> <laughs> I will politely bundle up the what she's offering to take with us. Aww. And let me peek into your character. What you're doing? He's. Don't worry about he's me peeking peeking into your character. He's pe peeking under the hood there. What the hell? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sam isn't the one I'm looking for right off the bat. He's peeking under her skirts. Ah! <laughs> you can't. 
shameless. I I guess uh, my perception is not very good, but uh, I would recommend to both. If there was a, a moment or two while we we're preparing our things to go, uh, uh, if one of you guys could take a, a second look at this, could find anything of any uh, of suspicion there, you know, see see if the story, you know, did it fall over because of the wind, like she said, or. Well, what's your uh, perception? Well, I have, uh, from my perception, I've got like a rank in it. Um, hold on, let me switch back over to... What's yours, Eric? Uh, two. Okay. I have one green perception. Oh, no. I have... <laughs> well, okay, let's I'm put it this way. I have no Because I have at least... I have one rank and one green in perception. But also, I'm one of the stronger characters so that I could at least, like, oh, make a better really? pretense of fixing the... Che- checking the... To- brawn of three. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, physically. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, y- y'all are my witnesses of this role, by the way. Uh? Oh! I missed it. I'm in the. So, Mo just <laughs> apparently failed some role dramatically. Oh, no. Well, oh, no. the bad news is he's vomiting in the back of the. Uh, of the <sighs> The butt board. Ew. Yeah, but it's a butt board. It washes out easy enough. Yeah, yeah. So. It, but and the good, but the good news is dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to clue clue Moj in in in, in what's going on there. It's what he gets for falling asleep at the wagon and having the lowest discipline of everyone in the group. You know, yeah. at at this <laughs> at this point, uh, I'm willingly where Moj sleeps. Only when it's not. I don't think I'm too surprised at that fact. No, right? Like, (laughs) like while unpacking things, you leave a bag of grain on there, and Moj is happy. Yeah. (laughs) And you don't mind because they're letting you know nobody's gonna steal it because they'd have to move. And that that's that's a okay. uh, Point of order. Uh-oh. Do you really think they couldn't steal this with Moj sleeping in the back? <laughs> <laughs> he just wakes uh, up. Okay, and it's dance. just like... Fair point. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> so what's his perception? Probably better than mine. So <laughs> It's true. He's probably the most perspe- perceptive of all. <laughs> like I said, I, I, I don't catch on quick, but once I'm engaged, I'm good. <laughs> then I'm lethal. <laughs> I'm not used to all this Western ways. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was pretty straightforward in in the temple. <laughs> Back at the temple, it would be like, why would you be deceitful? That makes no sense, unless you're a demon. Right. I mean, and then in right. that case, you just got c- coming. What's coming? <laughs> it's 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 a a failing of mine. I got to work on that. So, uh, who's doing a perception, and what is it that you're looking for? Oh, no. Oh, great. Um, you need to be perceptive to something, but what are you going to be perceptive for? Like, oh, great. Uh, <laughs> something of the arcane Thanks, variety, yeah. or, or something... Okay, just the, anything of of sort. Bizarre. Yeah, out of the ordinary. Uh, while what, trying what, to think. What, I, what I had originally pitched was... Uh, I want to make sure story about the wind with the scarecrow lines up, mm-hmm. you know, like, cause, cause it seems that's one of the few verifiable things that we've got. And, mm-hmm. uh, and if it lines up great. And if it doesn't that, well, that's- okay. So I'm going to, uh, and I'm going to use a, yeah. Oh, look at you stacking the deck. All right, so you're ready for my perception? I am now. Good grief. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. As you look out onto the prairie here, and you hear the... It's all good. (laughs) And you see a couple of prairie prairie dogs start to pop their heads out, and they look in the the direction (laughs) of your wagon, and Moj makes a sound somewhere. And then, you know... Grass rustle, and then you look to see where the prairie dog, you know, is a good singer, you know, to pay attention to the animals because they got mighty fine sense. Mm. 
and you just see her orange tabby cat kind of rubbing up on the wheel of the buggy like cats do. And uh, you see Mo unconsciously rubs his el arm against his face, probably rubbing some uh, hair tonic out of his mouth. Ew. <laughs> that he grabbed the wrong box. <laughs> <laughs> And you, you totally see the scarecrow kind of moves in the wind just enough that, you know, it's plausible. It just fell over. You know, who knows how long that scarecrow's been there on that stick, and it just rotted out and broke. There you go. And uh, for a second there, you think you saw a shadow in one of the second floor windows, but then you were mistaken. You know, you totally convinced oh. yourself it was just a trick of the light. Told you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's probably because you got this lingering taste. God damn, that water was good tasting. That was. Good. Well, as it sounds like we're concluding our visit, I will get the horse, the uh, horse settled for the cart, and I will take a uh, uh, draft of the uh, well water. Ooh, it's crisp. It's clean. You can. Feel the positive chi flow through your veins. Yeah. You're like, you want to come back and drink more of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Sounds I mean, like my the water up at the scout camp I used to work at as a kid in California, but it was amazing well water. That, that, that's mm. beautiful, clean Good well stuff. water. It's got that alkaline kiss to it. Mm. Reminds you of when Fill you were my the top canteen of the with it. <laughs> yeah, it was almost. Up at the camp I worked at, the water, the well water that came out of the faucets was almost sweet tasting. You could mm -hmm. see a little bit of mineral in it and stuff. Oh, it was so good. You get that just oh. beautiful kiss of, you know, minerals and, and alkaline that gives it that yeah. crisp, bold pop. Yeah, it was, it was pretty amazing water. And, and, and she kind of, you know, you know, as you, you're getting the horse yells for the cat to get away from the buggy or your fool cat's going to lose your tail like your paw. Mm -hmm. She kind of looks back at the house and this wrinkle on her nose kind of thing that's just a she must be, you know, having a, a when she says paw, must be having some bad, foul memory of her own dad, maybe. As she, you know, finishes it up wrapping in a pretty handkerchief, those uh, leftover biscuits and some fresh ones on top. And she's like, and, and if, if any of you all want to come back out here, I am sorely do some good company. Because it's just um, my fellow sisters that come up here and, and the occasional good for nothing. But that's what uh, old, uh, old Python shooter is for there. And she points the scatter gun that she uses. Mm. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna reciprocate that by saying, you know, I I know you don't I know you don't drink, but there there's always a table for you and the and the ladies at the at the Artemis, and uh, you're 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 welcome to come over and listen to to the music and and trade some stories if, if you're in town too. Ah, uh, do me a favor, give me a charm roll. Does he get a blue? He's already had some pretty good rolls with her, right? I know. I mean, she's already... He's, he's got a free upgrade, basically, right now. Uh, there you I, go. Uh, you ready? Yep. You smooth talker. Hey, you the, the, the joy thing is that I can pretend to be a smooth talker. <laughs> as, as, as after you make the invite, she just, you know, gives you the, the pulls her hat off and dusts it off on her knee and gives you that squint because of the sunlight. And she, you notice in this sunlight, she's got some really mighty fine freckles on her cheeks for somebody that uh, should be out of the freckled girl face phase of life. But she's got a certain sweetness that wafts over the prairie. As she says, Mr. Potts, I think I might just have to come into town after chores tomorrow and uh, take you up on your hospitality. So so she's got some really nice gams? Uh, she does have some <laughs> nice gams. When the, the, wind, the prairie wind blows. Hold it, hold it. How enough. can you see the gams? He sees the you can imagine it under the dress. That's why they wore those dresses. <laughs> you can imagine it. <laughs> I'm like, this is Imagine. time fair where a sight of ankle is scandalous. 
just from the shirt she's wearing, I can imagine the gams underneath <laughs> the legs being nice. As a Shaolin, she appreciates her, her farm work that she's done out here, tilling the earth with her own arms and right? legs. And knows oh, the strength of the earth has leached its way into her legs. Right. We should probably specify some of the younger listeners what gams are. I know, right? I know. See, I had to go there with that terminology. <laughs> most people are like, what the hell? What the hell's you a gam? Find area that reaches between the toes and the <laughs> hips. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as, period. <laughs> as you guys are riding out of town, you've got uh, Moj. Is he sitting in the back now with his pool of vomit? He's still sitting he's on the absolutely back. At the back, and pro- possibly with his head over the over the back of the in case he throws up again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'm assuming Sam gets the front seat now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, ooh, I'm oh. gonna want from Sam and Katie a roll. Uh- uh-oh. What tap roll? The, the uh, kind of roll that happens when you drink water. <laughs> <laughs> from Sam, it's going to be from the arcane knowledge. Okay. So you ready? Oh, look at that. Let's let, let, let uh, Sam go first since he's Sam go first. Point. Right. Story point. We're looking for, we're doing divine. Divine knowledge. Alright. Well, divine magic skill or divine knowledge? Divine knowledge. Well, so it'd be you, lore. I'll give you either or. Okay. Because, I mean, I have a point in what I what they consider. I, I didn't change it here to oh. lore, but it, my knowledge is lore knowledge, but that's not yeah. as good as my divine. I'll, I'll take either or. Okay. We'll go with divine. Because it doesn't know right, how they've broken the, the arcane skill and the knowledge version of arcane, because they sh- they're the same thing. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Right. I've got your upgrade. Right. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, that's 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 good. That's a good thing. We're building drama that's good. and tension. <laughs> so can you give me your you. role. Okay, so my arcana. Oh, oh Lordy. perfect. We don't we don't send shit. <laughs> as as yeah. you guys are heading, uh, so what is what is the plan? Are you heading back to town? Are you going to anyone else's houses? Uh, I thought we were headed back to town. But... Do uh, from from her description, do we know where the widows meet? Uh, like in the hills? Well, it's it's in Boot Hills. It's the you know where cemetery. Does, but, does, does like, anyone stop mind just if to we look? Make a quick trip to Boot Hill to quick once over one else there that's a good one in broad daylight it's a good time to go up there you can be saying a prayer to a dead friend you all know at least one person in boot hill hell poor sam came into town with a bunch of people who probably died in route (laughs) so is it boot hill can we use that or is it like uh sandal hill or uh slipper hill or we can can use that it's not trademarked right no yeah it's not trademarked (laughs) every western town has a boot hill so you guys are heading on off. There's this, this riding montage. You guys are having some small talk. And you see Boot Hill coming up over the rise as you're heading that direction. You see like one or two people or at family members, you know, markers. And uh, yeah. as the camera starts to pan out showing you the beautiful prairie west of Wormwood, Mode continues uh. mumbling and uh, unseen <laughs> by all of you. And then the camera focuses in on his face as he opens his eyes, and his eyes are completely black. Oh dear. As he then closes his eyes, and his mumble turns almost into a chanting sound that you guys don't quite hear. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Beautiful no, time for some beautiful area. failures. The one area I have a little bit of knowledge in, no, it couldn't have been perception. Or, could, you know, perception, I would have expected the failure like that, but. 
Well, it doesn't hurt that this thing is good for, for bar borrowing, you know, hosts and getting with going unseen. You know, it's just that you guys could have had a chance to see it because of your, you know, yeah. your mojo and ability. But in yeah, this case, well. you didn't see that the cat jumped on the mojo and puked in his mouth and he didn't realize the difference. Okay. Ew. I mean, it does hurt that I brought a cat into it because Squeaker came in the room here and I was waiting for him to start screaming his ass off. <laughs> the evil hairball. Yep. <laughs> and as the, the camera pans back and the winds are blowing the, the, the tall, dry grass, that's a good place to wrap it up there. All right. <laughs> awesome. Ah. <sighs> I mean, so how many fails. points? Thank you for the skill of the save yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> so it's going to be, uh, since you were successful in making a friend in the uh, a alliance that you both like and hate at the same time, I think, a solid yeah. 10 points. Ten I'm experience. sorry, what? 10. Ten. Okay. Sweet. Because you now have made a good and solid friend out here. Yeah. Somebody a little more solid than others, but... <laughs> and for others, a little phlegmy. <laughs> way, way, to, way to go, boss. <laughs> well, everyone's got to be good Angry at Angry farmer <laughs> minion. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You guys like drive through one of the crotchety guys, you know. <laughs> Get off Why my lawn! <laughs> because he's a farmer! But did lawns exist? <laughs> In the big, big city, they did. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'd have gotten away with it if it had been for yeah. you, meddling <laughs> kids. For you, meddling kids. Yeah, when you mentioned your goat tea stuff, it made me think of Kopi Lu, uh, Luwak, if you're familiar with that. Let's see. The cat. Um, the, yeah, the civet uh -huh. cat coffee. Yeah, they, yeah, the... Uh -huh. They eat coffee beans, and then it, they shit it, and then that's like... It's, it's like, something. Yeah. Depending on where you go, it's like... The bean. Yeah, it's like it, 50 bucks uh, like for a little cup of it. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> this is how the ancient Aztecs were able to serve cat shit coffee to the Spanish. Right. <laughs> right. Oh no, it's and gourmet. They loved it. <laughs> but it's a major delicacy. You pay big money for that stuff. Oh yeah. Now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because the digestive Just enzymes so break the bean <laughs> cheese down. Alrighty, guys. Good night. Right. Have a good night. All right. All right. Have a good night, good guys. Time. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>